Hi Capricorn, how are you? I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to your November monthly 2024 reading. I don't know, I'm getting tongue-tied here. <laughs> so as I said, I hope that you're doing well. How are you feeling Capricorn? Because as I have said a million times over the past several months, Pluto is going to be leaving your sign um, and going into Aquarius once and for all in our lifetime on the 19th of November. So, you know, how are you feeling? I imagine that you between you and Aquarius I think I've already said it in their reading that you two would be the most affected everybody will be affected what you two the most probably you more than Aquarius because yeah you're the one that's going to be wrapping up that chapter feel free to share in the comments how you're doing or whatever you want my I, if you have private information that you don't want everybody to see my email address is in the description box if you want to privately you know get stuff off your chest share um so yeah um where do we begin? Right. Oh, yeah. Just to let you know, I'm still doing the written daily tarot and oracle card readings. So that's on Instagram and on the YouTube community page. Where necessary, I'll put links in the description box for that. Also, for a private or personal reading, again, the description box. So your... Oh, a lot came in with your pre-reading meditation. I had to write it down. There was so much. So the first thing I kind of saw was like, I thought it was called a loudspeaker at first, but then I thought that doesn't sound right. So I looked it up, it's a megaphone. So loudspeaker, megaphone, whatever you want to call it. I saw that and it was like, there's a message that you want to be heard. There was also something about it being collaborative or, or a group. So I don't know if there's a group demonstration or a group rally, I could see people handing out flyers. There is the potential that it's to do with promoting a business. Um, if it's not a demonstration, it could be political, to do with political support. Obviously, we've got these stuff going on. I mean, I don't follow politics myself, so I don't know. But I believe someone told me the um, elections are happening in a couple of weeks in America. I don't know if there's any other elections going on, but it could be political support. I also got the thought that there could be something to do with strike action as well in terms of a demonstration so it could be a small strike like a tiny business or it could be a huge business like something national like the nhs i don't know if there's anything i mean i try not to watch too much news so i don't know if there's still stuff going on there there was also something i got as well where parents or staff might be protesting um in regard to a school or even a university or something doing something that they're not happy about that could be I don't know if that's personal or if that'll end up coming up in the news, but something like that came up. And then this one got me a little bit. It was something very specific where people could be demonstrating um, <clears throat> specifically outside of an individual's house, like they're targeting an individual. I don't know what the reason is. Probably they did. They would have done something wrong. But that came through as well. And I got images of the press, like the newspapers being there outside this individual's home as well. So, yeah, I think I might have to keep an eye out on the news for the next couple of weeks just to see what comes up with that. Because that sounds like it might be more of a um, public thing. Some of that might be public rather than a private message for someone. But anyway, I think that's all of it. So let's move on and feel free to share if that's relevant to you as well. We're going to start off with a message from the Secrets of the Ancestors Oracle. So this is the, the deck that I bought myself as a birthday gift. I've been getting used to it over the past couple of weeks. And the first time I used it, I didn't connect. I'll be honest, I didn't connect with it. And then over the weeks, I've sort of connected with it more now. And I felt comfortable and I was like, yes, I've been wanting to use it on the channel. And I feel good with it now. So let's go. Um, the Isis Oracle, I don't use it that often. But I really, I love it in these readings because it's very... It is very spiritual and this is only the pocket edition. So I've got, I managed to get hold of a copy of the, um, the messages from the actual book. If, if I'd bought the full edition and they are deep, I'm telling you like one message you read it and it's like, shit, I've just read a, um, a PhD, what do you call it? A, um, oh my God, why well, can't I remember that? Like a thesis feels like I've read a thesis after I've read one message from the, um, the original edition i will buy the original edition one day but it's been brilliant i love it so yeah we're going to look at secrets of the ancestors first of all and see what comes up for you for november so what do we need to know for capricorn sun moon and rising for november 2024 right capricorn 
I'm getting a oh god okay in terms of that thing I said about I mean it could be any of the things that I mentioned in the pre-reading meditation but probably more so for the individual I'm getting images of someone being egged I don't know take that as you will but yeah I'm getting getting an image of someone being egged okay I'll say it because that's coming in as well you know in those um films where the toilet paper someone's ha I'm not I don't want to laugh because it's not funny because I don't know what the circumstances are but I'm getting images of someone's house or car being toilet papered or their car being vandalized as well potentially even the house because people are protesting or demonstrating against this person I'll leave that there again if any of that means anything to you feel free to share right Capricorn sun moon and rising what do we need to know for you for November 2024 creative expression this one came up who did this come up for oh god was it Sagittarius I think it was Sagittarius or Gemini and in the pre-reading meditation I, I said I can see wings but I don't know if it's attached to anything and if it is attached to something I don't know what it's attached to and then this card came out and I was like holy shit it's got wings and it's some kind of creature that's unidentifiable so that was just a moment where when you have that connection between your, um, your intuition and the cards and it's like it never fails to it happens so much and I'm still amazed every time it happens but it is what it is right I can see that the candle is gonna go out as well so when necessary I'll pause to relight that but you've got creature of water creative expression I did say there was a message that wanted to be heard but we'll see if it connects more after so let's get the tarot cards out for you as well so what else do we need to know for Capricorn sun moon and rising four okay so i will briefly pause i'll just give these one more shuffle then i'll pause and do the candle for you again okay we've got a fresh candle back now so what do we need to know for capricorn sun moon and rising for november 2024 please how many cards have you got there three I will take them. That's more than I would usually want to take. You've got the Ten of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Child. Oh, I should have said it, shouldn't I? So basically, the fact that the candle went out, it made me think maybe some... Oh, okay, and this is it as well. Maybe something's coming to an end so that you can have a new sort of direction or beginning or chapter in terms of expression or creative expression. And then that was on the bottom of the deck, the Ancestral Force Completion. Um... I don't think it has a tarot correspondence or if it does there's one of them that doesn't have a tarot correspondence and I can't remember which one it is this might be the world actually which is to do with completion as well but yeah and then with the ten of ones something's completed isn't it so it's moving forward on a new path page of ones the chariot that's moving forward but leaving something behind I can think of one person this is a thousand percent relevant for um, based on what's happening in their life. I won't tell you their business, but yeah, that makes sense. But the page of ones is creative expression as well. So I like the fact that those have come out together. Right. So what am I doing? So the rest of the cards. And this is a past energy of the five of pentacles. That can be an energy of leaving something behind. The emperor's the challenge. So it's taking charge. It's getting things in order. It's some um, strategy planning. There might be a lot of practical considerations here. This energy is the um, external factors, you know, where you'd kind of assess, well, how do I do this? How? How do I make it happen? Oh, I love that. <clears throat> I can see who this is relevant for. Five of Pentacles, leaving something behind. Nine of Pentacles, independence. It's putting yourself first, taking care of yourself, building yourself up, isn't it? The hanged man so again i spoke of strategy and the hanged man is the different pr perspectives Ca the, so the sacrifice is coming in as well i'm not sure we'll find out when we get to that i know the hanged man is connected to sacrifice but i specifically got the word sacrifice um see what else comes up right i like this future energy the hermit and the lovers as a future energy that's really walking the path like whatever path you've chosen whatever your desires are it's like yeah i'm on it now nobody's gonna stop me i'm on the ball basically 
Right. You might need more information though to move forward. There might be some kind of information that's missing and yeah, we'll see. We'll see as we go. Right, let us do first of all, oh, so first of all, I wanna read from the book, don't I? So create, creature of water, creative expression. So it says, creative energy is all around you. Use your imagination to get unstuck. Okay. Air is, I'm just thinking, looking at the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Air energy, I know in one deck I've got, I think it's the Witch's Wisdom. They have a card called Air and it's specifically imagination and it just made me think of that. So if there's anything where you're feeling a bit stuck, like I'm not sure what the next step should be or what to do next, imagination, truth and imagination with that Knight of Swords and Eight of Swords. So it says, follow your inspirations and allow your emotions to fuel your pursuits. That's happening there with that lover's card. Romantic or creative, your heart energy, Queen of Cups, is blossoming. This is a time of heightened creativity with potential for breakthroughs. Hangman could be a breakthrough. This idealistic and compassionate animal spirit ancestor is coming, oh I love this, it's the Knight of Cups, is coming forward, ancestor coming forward can be a good thing if there is something or someone you've been waiting for. But moving too fast can lead to recklessness. Pace yourself, you are obsessed and seeking fulfillment. You have the potential to get sloppy. Hasty decision making can block your flow. And the ancestral memory says, the creature of water is the Aiken animal spirit, the Sankofa heron bird. They come forward with the lucky energy of the Ghanaian goddess of the harvest, Asase Afua. Sankofa means we must go back to get it. Sankofa here is the animal spirit that connects the past, present and future. The ancestral medicine says, take time to experience. Creature of water saves us from ourselves with fairy tale knights in shining armor energy, saving the damsel in distress. Are you moving too fast to reap the benefits of your blessings? My child, how can you go back and reap your harvest? The shadow aspect, if the card was reversed, a relationship may be fizzling out or stagnant. You may be stuck in the past. Heartbreak and betrayal may be on the horizon. And the tarot correspondence is the Knight of Cups, which I've already said. Declaration is I'm a creative force. So <clears throat> I feel, well, some of you have already probably freed yourself. We've got the focal point here and the past energy is leaving something behind. Some of you may have already done that or you're in the process of doing that or you at the very least acknowledge that you need to free yourself from something and move forward and go on a different path. Let's see what comes up here. Ten of Wands, Page of Wands, the Chariot. This is about building something new with that King of Pentacles and it's very much an empowered energy where you are that King of Pentacles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles, yeah, it's working on something new, isn't it? Wanting to give your energy somewhere else or to something new. God, you've got a lot of pentacles, haven't you? Well, Capricorn, Earth sign, of course. And Capricorn is the sign that's most connected to like working hard and success. We've got the Page of Pentacles. So although you may have that King of Pentacles energy and, and be willing to put the effort in, it is a bit of a beginner. It's a new seed still, even though you've got the King of Energy, King of Pentacles energy to carry you through. Risky, risky. Something feels a little bit risky. Oh my God, I didn't want this many cards. Right. Something feels risky, but with that high priestess, wow. High priestess, eight of cups and the world. You don't give a shit if it feels risky. <laughs> That's one thing I can say. Seven of swords, high priestess. That is you trusting your intuition and taking a risk. Eight of cups. You're leaving it behind. You don't care. If you haven't done this already, you're in the process or you're going to do this and the world. It's the new, isn't it? It's a new chapter. I absolutely adore this energy of Seven of Swords, High Priestess and Eight of Cups and the world together. Um, yeah, love that energy together. Do I need to put any of these? I think I'm gonna have to put some of these back in the deck because that feels like a lot. So I'll put these two back and keep those there. Right, so again, Nine of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles is the past energy. Again, I said leaving something behind. Um, for some, there may have been a fear in the past of a fear of lack in the past and a fear of losing independence in the past. Um, yeah, there may have been a fear of losing independence in the past, but I think overall, as I say, it's an energy that somebody has 
left something behind now if you had the fear i think you've gotten past it or you're getting past it because you're like nope I'm, i don't give a shit now i need to do what i need to do so nine of pentacles five of pentacles i was like tower yep that's that don't give a shit energy i don't know if you've seen it before but i have this thing that i often say that i am the tower or we are the tower it's not always about something happening to us sometimes we are the tower i think that was scorpio's last reading actually um yeah upright three of cups page of swords so you may have had support in this like emotional support you may have had a team of it's giving cheerleader vibes actually um you may have had support from people around you that are like yes go for it go and do it yes it's risky we don't give a shit go for it you've got to do it and it's like you know that you're going to be back in that big like a beginner it's like you're going to have to start again but i don't know i think this page of swords as well is learning again where if you have had a fear of that sense of lack and fear of um losing independence you got over it basically you learned and thought nah there's there's something better out there for me maybe it's through the support that you've learned that you may be um you may have had someone that you look up to who has done this and you're like yeah if they can do it i can do it as well someone look that you look up to but it's like passing the baton now where if you looked up to someone for taking a risk and doing that and overcoming their fears you're the person that's in the spotlight now where others are looking to you and saying, oh, they did that, so I can do it as well. Again, we have here as well, though, the concern um, or assessment of if it's a, a good decision, if it's a wise decision to make, if it will be successful. But as I say, this is all in the past, so if you haven't done, done it already, you're going to do it. But with this tower being in the past, even if it's not physically happened in the past with the tower, it's that breakthrough thought, isn't it? It's the light bulb of this is what's going to happen. I've got to do this. <clears throat> Someone may have been pushed to it, possibly with the tower as well. But even if you were pushed, I feel like it was still a decision. It feels like there's still something where you've made the decision. Even if you were pushed, you made the final decision. <clears throat> so the hanged man and the emperor is the challenge what do we need to know about those two knight of pentacles the place the planning it's the planning of things and figuring things out now that you're moving forward on a different path figuring out all the fine details four of pentacles this is what you already have <clears throat> with that four of pentacles and with the knight of pentacles looking at it it's almost looking at it and again that word strategizing what can i do with what i've already got to move forward yeah it doesn't feel stagnant i was going to say that for that four of pentacles usually it feels stagnant it doesn't it feels like what's the potential what potentially can i do with what i already have and needing the illumination of that the, um to to move forward ten of wands what else? Why so many? You're getting a load of cards, Capricorn. The world. Hermit, justice card. Right, again, I just see someone who's left the burdens behind, started a new chapter. You're on your journey. This is a journey that is right for you this time with the hermit and justice there. You're doing what you need to do on your own terms. Um... <clears throat> so the challenge is i think the ten of ones as part of the challenge so you've left whatever behind or you're going to leave something behind but it's keep to keep going keep going um yeah the challenge is to keep going and the challenge is figuring out the fine details and how to use what you've already got to move you forward So I don't know if the word strategy is going to be in your title anywhere, but I'm glad to see that tower in the past because I know, oh God, I remember now, there was a phase I went through with a lot of um, Capricorn readings where the tower kept on coming up in every reading, but I feel like, I can't remember specifically, but I feel like it came up a lot as like the main focus point. I don't know if it came up in the past very much. It felt more like, when I did the previous readings for Capricorn, it felt like the tower needed to happen, but it hadn't happened yet. So I'm glad to see it in the past now. Um, 
I don't know if I'll call your title, you finally became the tower, so now you need to strategize to move forward, something to that effect. <clears throat> right, let's look at, excuse me, I need to clear my throat. Okay, sorry about that Capricorn. I feel, I don't know if my voice is changing, but I feel like I have to keep clearing my throat in the readings, even though I'm not ill or anything. Strange. Anyway, right, Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles are the external factors. So I kind of feel like this is what you've had to fought, fought through, fight through to get to this point, And you may have to continue to do that. It's like really standing up for what you what you're choosing you may potentially have people say to you are you sure about this is this really the best thing is this really the most fruitful but it's just a need for you to keep go again keep going stand up for it and and just keep assessing keep strategizing whatever external factor, factors there are to this just keep have that logic and practicality i mean obviously use your heart to lead you to what you want what it is you want to pursue but bring in that logic and practicality to um to keep to keep going to keep moving and to um to get past any obstacles i think obstacles is a key word with this keep going the hermit on the journey the hermit keeps coming out doesn't it three of swords this, it feels like strength, that Three of Swords does. It feels like strength. Is the strength card anywhere near? No, it feels like strength. So like the old stories, whatever old stories you've been through, it's almost like you've learned from that and used that strength to move forward. Knight of Cups. It feels like not letting something hurt you anymore. That's what it feels like. I'm not letting this old story hurt me anymore. I'm moving forward in that knight of cups energy and there's compassion for yourself here as well with that knight of cups judgment final decision you've made the final decision which i said up here about the path you want to choose nothing can hold you back anymore nothing can hurt you anymore you know what your heart wants and you're going forward with that i like that energy capricorn it's great Knight of Cups is there again with the Queen of Cups, right? This is what you need to be more aware of or what's hidden. I think you already know this. Just keep, it said it in the card, didn't it? Because this is the Knight of Cups. Keep following your heart. Again, you're Capricorn, so you'll be very good at bringing the practicality and logic to it. So I think you're good there. And that's probably why the focus is on that Knight and Queen of Cups. Remember to um, keep your emotions in the loop. But yeah, you, you're good on the practicality, so... Don't forget the emotions in the whole process. Don't get too practical and too logical. Let's see what else comes out. There you go. Page of Cups now. Who's missing in the court cards? King of Cups is the only one missing. And that is emotional mastery, isn't it? Where the hell's that gone? Bear with me. See if I can do this without ripping the things down. Okay, this is what's changed for you. What's changed is that you've brought the emotions into it more, I feel as well. What you need to be aware of is that you are, I feel like saying emotionally adept, and I'm not even sure if that makes sense, but you've brought your emotions into things a lot more than you ever would have done before. And that's what's changed things. That's what help, has helped you to change things. Because as I said, it's like you're good on the practicality and the logic, but you may not have always listened to your emotions as much. So the Emperor, the Ace of Pentacles, let's get one more, the Ace, oh so I love that, so there's the practicality and there's the logic and so you're in control with the Emperor energy, obviously you are in control but you, you're also looking, the Emperor's looking in that direction to the Page of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune so again the needing to be aware of the emotions, um, look into that first, how you feel first, and then bringing in the logic and the practicality to balance everything out to move you forward. So Hermit and the Lovers, again, as I said, it's like you're following your passions, you're on the journey now. And there's an element of commitment See if the Hierophant or something comes out, but there's an element of commitment to that. And this is your future energy, so you're, you're on the journey, man. You're doing it. 
Ace of Wands, it's a new chapter for you. Five of Wands. I would say you're overcoming the challenges. The Five of Wands and Five of Swords feels like the challenges, the practical, like action-based challenges and the mental challenges, whether it's your own mental challenges or it's around beliefs, what you've been programmed to believe, around things that other people say or how anyone else may try to get into your head or just, and it's not even necessarily always that people try to get into our head on purpose. It's just that everybody has their own beliefs and if a belief isn't in alignment with yours, it can get in your head and hold you back. But as I say, new chapter, you're on the journey, you, you're moving past all of these challenges and you get into that 10 of pentacles. That's what you really want. That's your, that's that full package, that legacy energy. No settling with the eight of cups. You're not settling. The lovers to me and the eight of cups, it's where you, you're not settling. You do, you go for what your heart wants, what you desire, nothing less. So that's your future energy, that's good. And remember you have a choice. I was just saying this, I think, in the Cancer reading about um, nobody gets to tell you what your story is. Even if you have readings and predictions come up, yes, there may be some things that come up in a prediction that you don't have control over, but for the most part, you even if you have a reading and you don't like the outcome of that reading or what the reader says, you would usually have a way to um to change that story for yourself you don't have to accept it if you say if you had a love reading and someone said oh this person's gonna come in and they're gonna sweep you off your feet blah 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 you might meet that person and think actually I don't want you <laughs> you know you might think the, yes the person's lovely and they're coming sweeping me off my feet but I don't feel whatever it is I want to feel for that person you don't have to accept that you don't just because the reader said it you don't have to be like oh yeah well now I've got to marry the person because they're sweeping me off my feet no you might you might feel like you're not feeling it so no offense to the person but you might feel like you're not feeling it and think actually no um thank you for trying you wouldn't say this to the person because that's really patronizing thank you for trying but um this isn't for me and you get to choose that sounds that sounds patronizing saying it doesn't it but anyway or even if it was a job offer they might say oh there's a brilliant opportunity coming to you um, and that part might be accurate, but as I've said, tarot, any kind of reading, it won't necessarily give you a hundred percent the full picture. Um, yeah, it won't necessarily, and I can say this from experience of having readings, giving readings, you still get to choose. Anyway, because I'll go on a rant about that for 10 minutes like I did in the Cancer reading. So, Eight of Swords, Knight of Swords. Whoa, I was going to say, shall I take that, but yeah. I will. Knight of Swords, Ten of Cups again. So yeah, the guidance here, there's more information that you need, whether it's information from yourself, your higher self, your intuition, whatever, just mentally or external to you that will help you to um to get that fulfillment. But there's something, I, I don't know if it'll tell me what it is. Obviously it will lead to your happiness, but I don't know what it is. There might be something that you're missing or haven't quite addressed yet. Um... It could be around honing your skills and your knowledge that maybe you need to learn more or learn more information in general um, to move forward. Could need to learn more or need more info. Anything else? For someone, it could be more confidence is needed or more trust in yourself. All right, Nine of Cups again. Oh no, that's too many. Try that again. Queen of Pentacles. Could be for someone. Okay. For someone, there may be a need to be, to go a little bit deeper even into, oh, I don't know I'm, I'm saying this, to go even deeper into what it is that will make you feel fulfilled and happy. Like you may say there's layers to it and you've just established a layer of what would really make you feel happy and fulfilled. Like say the first level or layer to it was, right, I'm here doing this. This is not making me happy. So you, you get rid of that. And so that's taking you on the journey to becoming happier. The next level is you, you figure something out that will make you really happy. Like you have the blueprint for happiness. Um, I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. 
I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully it does. But it's the different layers of figuring out what will really make you happy. So that could be it for someone. Again, the honing your skills, learning something new and then values as well. There might be something with, with your values as well that you go deeper into your mind to figure that out. But that's the guidance, I think. And also the guidance would be for anyone who hasn't quite towered their shit yet. <laughs> um, don't let anything hold you back. Your truth, your truth is your truth. And you can use that to free yourself. So that's another bit of advice there as well. Um, I think, I feel like saying it, I don't know, this could, could be relevant for someone if there's a romantic relationship involved here. But so in terms of that, figuring out what makes you happy again. So say if you've had a bunch of relationships and you like, right, none of those was what I really wanted. Like they might not have been terrible, but it was like, yeah, none of them were what I really needed, like what I could see, who I could see a future with. So that's the first level. Then based on that, you figured out what you don't want. Maybe you start thinking more about the kind of characteristics that you want or whatever. And you start to establish in yourself what you do want in a partner. And then maybe you meet someone. It might not even be someone who's single. Maybe they're attached to someone else or whatever. But not to say you choose that person, but maybe you look at them and you think like you say your sister's husband or your brother's wife or something you look at that person and think oh shit I'd love to be with someone like that I'm not saying you're gonna like steal their partner or anything like that but just the personality whatever it is about that person you look at them and think shit that's the blueprint I want someone like that not it doesn't have to be that person but someone like that with that personality trait that appearance whatever and you have your blueprint and that's going through the levels and the layers of getting closer and closer to your happiness you're getting more specific about what it is you want and as I say you have like a blueprint, a muse, a model, whatever. Right, final advice because I know I'm like babbling on now. Final advice. So final advice for Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising for November. Holy shit, that's a lot. Um... Do I want to take that? I'm going to take it. I did this for Cancer. This happened to Cancer as well. You two are opposites in the Zodiac, by the way, where four came out. They are short messages, so it's not too bad. You've got bloody five as well. I'll read them all because maybe they'll be relevant for someone. Your reading's not too long yet. Yet. <laughs> so we have the Wings of Isis, which says you have a special spiritual relationship with the angelic worlds. Part of your sole purpose is to birth angelic consciousness and values such as fearlessness compassion and service into this human culture this oracle also brings you angelic assistance intervention and confirmation too right you have truths unveiled i feel like that's that um knight of swords potentially or part of it there are times when appearances of people places and things are deceptive you will sense this when something feels uncomfortable within you when you notice feelings of anxiety or doubt within you you may think there is something wrong with you, but actually you are intuitively sensing that all is not as it appears to be. Trust what you feel, not what appears to be. That actually does feel like another message um, relating to the Eight of Swords and that Knight of Swords as well, to be honest. So bear that in mind. You also have High Priestess. Okay, this is again the um, Knight of Swords too. A mystery is to be unveiled. A new clarity around your direction is unfolding. Be willing to wait for the full reveal, but also recognise what is happening at this time. You will be gaining valuable insight into where you are being led and for what purpose. Right, flower of life. You are entering a fertile period of your life. You are guided to think of yourself as a creative being, right, cops, and to surrender... Was that hanged man somewhere, by the way? I think he was, wasn't he? Surrender your control over how things will manifest and instead allow them to do so. Don't resist change. Instead, go with the flow and let it happen. Now is the time for your blossoming. And finally, <laughs> abundance of Sothis. Abundance in many forms is increasing in flow to you. Continue your good work of building channels through which abundance can be delivered to you. Freely share your talents, love, wisdom and self and enjoy the abundance responsively flowing to you in many forms over and over again. I'll leave it there. I've talked enough Capricorn. Thank you if you're still with me. So again, if you want to see the daily written readings on Instagram or the YouTube community page, where necessary, I'll put a link in the description box. 
Same for the private readings. See the info in the description box for that. I'll be back in a few weeks for mid-month check-ins and I may do some shorts, you know, the short 60 second videos for the full moon when that happens and for Pluto going into Aquarius again. Feel free to share whatever you wanna share regarding your journey with Pluto being in your sign and finally leaving your sign. I'd be really interested to hear that. And what else do I need to say? I think that's it. So I hope November goes well for you. And until I see you again, take care.